Quinta, congratulations. But I've got to ask you, how did you feel about Jimmy Kimmel not getting up off the floor while you were doing your acceptance speech? Really, I, I know Jimmy Kimmel, and I don't know. I felt like the bit didn't bother me that much. I don't know what the internet thinks, but I, I don't know. I know him, honestly, it was kind of, Jimmy gave me my first like big late night spot and was one of the first people to see Abbott. And one of the first people, he Instagram messaged me that he saw this comedy and thought it was one of the greatest comedies of all time. And he was so excited it was gonna be on ABC. So I think in that moment, I was just really happy that it was, that it was Jimmy up there. I, I kind of consider him one of the, the comedy godfathers. I'm a huge fan of Will Arnett. So I was wrapped up in the moment. I don't know. Congratulations, Gina Davis. You know, you have always been on the right side of history. How is your foundation now working to move us all forward as a society? We're partnered with uh, almost anybody you can think of uh, as far as uh, analyze their scripts or helping uh, helping them get more diversity and, and female characters in their in their product. It really shows the power of collective impact uh, because it's taken all the work that we've done, as Gina said, behind the scenes with all types of content creators who have helped us and therefore, you know, just seeing more authentic and more authentic representation. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That was our final question. Thanks so much to Gina and Natalie. Shirley, Ralph, congratulations. Oh my gosh, everybody is over the moon about this. But I have to ask you, how has Abbott Elementary changed the Philadelphia public school system? I have to say that my husband is Senator Vincent Hughes from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and his lifelong passion being in office is getting the light focused on education. So for me to be in this show with my husband doing what he does, I can honestly tell you he's the chair of appropriations, and as a result, maybe, of this show, a billion more dollars have been added to education in the state of Pennsylvania and it has not happened in 30 years. So if what we're doing here has that kind of impact for generations to come, you know I am happy to be playing Barbara Howard and representing the city of Philadelphia and other city just like it, where we need more money more attention, more focus on the education of all of our children. And finally, teachers in our show are not the butt of the joke. They are the heart and soul of the whole show. And I love it, love it, love it. Tom, you Congratulations, know Gerard, but I gotta ask you, the fur coat? It's vintage, uh, Puff Daddy wore in a music video. It may as well be the Shroud of Turin to me. Uh, I'm very happy in it. Happy I won in it. Goes well with gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, look, I felt pretty good. I feel good actually tonight. Like LA gets chilly at night, so this is right. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah.